Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. This is my mom. So I wanted to do her makeup today because as requested by one of her friends, we wanted to do makeup on a more mature woman. Um, not old, mature. So yeah, we wanted to see, if you want to see how to get this look and how I do her makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start now. So, so far I have put on just a little bit of setting spray or glow mist, I guess. And then we also use the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So that's how we prep the face. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a hydrating primer or if I wanted to use the Hourglass. And I think we're gonna go with Hourglass just cause it's a little bit smoother. But first, we're gonna do a little bit of glow screen because you can't forget sunscreen. Do you use sunscreen? <laughs> I'm bad for using it, I don't use it very much. But we should. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the glow screen. So this is gonna give a tiny bit of a glow to the face. And she can use a glow. I do not use a glow because I'm oily. But. What's your skin usually? I'd say it's um, the T-zone. Do you get shiny there? But lately more dry. Okay. Yeah, so that's okay. If you're dry, then it's okay to use a little bit of glowy hydrating product. Sorry if I'm in the way. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with the Hourglass Primer. Do you use a primer? No, I should. <laughs> okay. Is primer always liquid? Uh, no, this one is like, so this one has more of like a lotion-y kind of texture. I haven't used it in a while. Mm, so I, this is Hourglass, this one here. Who makes it? Hourglass. It's, the, it's called the Vanish Airbrush Primer. It's probably expensive. It is looks expensive, like, it but, there, nice. but there are good ones, like e.l.f. makes really good ones that aren't crazy expensive, but if you see, it kind of just took the shine away, and that's why I use it, because it takes any of my, like, It just oily, feels smooth. Yeah. Like, you can see it kind of just, like, fills in any areas that we have, like, bigger pores. Just kind of, like, smooths out the whole thing and then we're gonna go in with one of my foundations but as you can see you can't tell right now but I'm super fair and she's just a little bit darker than I am so we're gonna use the Revlon luminance foundation and I had actually brought a couple, so I had brought the Double Wear Sheer by Estee Lauder and the Revlon Luminance. These are both very like skin-like, not too heavy on the skin. But this one has a tiny bit of a glow, so we're going to go with this one. And we're just going to mix it with a tiny bit of the Debronzy Drops from Drunk Elephant because this will just deepen it up a tiny bit. So I'll use about one pump. So you don't want to put anything too heavy. This is just a guideline. It doesn't matter. You don't really have to follow this. If you like a full coverage foundation, wear a full coverage foundation. But sometimes it looks a little heavy on the skin. And so I like to use a beauty blender too to make sure it just kind of gives a seamless look on the skin. And I just kind of pat it into the skin instead of using a foundation brush, which will give you like a little bit of a heavier look. What do you use? Your hands? My hands. <laughs> okay. So hands are good too. Hands will give you like a nice kind of seamless look. But maybe I should use this thing. I don't know. Just What do you call this thing? Well, this one's not a beauty blender. This one is by... A different brand, but normally but you just I call have, it like I a beauty sponge. I think I might have one. It's a beauty sponge. Like I have a Sonova. A Sonova. I have a... Sephora? Sephora. It's pink. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's actually the beauty blender, I think. Yeah. Did I give it to you? Nope. Oh. Okay. So you can see it's just a little bit more perfected. It still has a little bit of a glow. If you see on the side, can you see that little bit of glow to it? No, I would need my glasses. Oh, okay. See. Well. Or a mirror. It does have a tiny bit of a glow to the foundation. I can give you a mirror in one sec. Like if I had that 8X mirror there, at least I could, I could see. One sec, I'll give you one. No, it was silly. I should have put my contacts on. Uh, yeah, but then if I'm going in your eyes with any pencils, yeah. you might not want me to. But at least you don't worry about. That's what I did when I went for my hair. It was the best thing. Okay. I'm just gonna get the other side. So it is still a little bit light, but I feel like because it's thinner, we can kind of get away with using a little bit lighter of a shade. Plus we're gonna bronze anyways. And when you, do you ever use bronzer? I like it though. I, Very I, rarely I, though, I, right? I have to use it because I do like it. Because I want to fix, like, you know, like highlight my, is it the jawline? Yeah. And then. Contour. Contour. But yeah. Yeah, the top. My so forehead. I meant actually to do that before we used foundation. I was going to do a underpainting mm -hmm. oh. is what it's called. So when you do the, when you do it first and then you put your foundation on after, it's kind of like an underpainting. So you can kind of still see it, but it's not as like heavily or like contoured or as noticeable but that's fine, we'll just do it after. So this one is glowy, but in a nice way, like this is a little bit too glowy for me, so I have to use all these like mattifying primers. I'm using my left hand, so this feels weird. around okay so I think we're pretty well even here so I think what we'll do next is probably do some concealer and then we'll maybe go into the bronzing slash contouring so there's like a tiny bit of dryness on the nose so I'm just going to Make sure to really just push it into the skin. Okay. So we're gonna do some concealer. Can I put my mirror right here? Yeah. So we've already that's decided like, on the Gucci concealer. Oh, that's not good, I can't, that's too big. Um, I haven't, I brought four of them and I just let my mom choose which one she wanted. So the ones I brought to choose from are the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer, the Gucci Concealer, and the Tower 28. So these are all very hydrating concealers, which is nice for somebody who has a more mature skin type. You don't want anything that's gonna look very matte and drying under the eye, because that's gonna look crepey. So we're gonna do the Gucci, and this is more of like a serum, kind of hydrating concealer, very lightweight. And I think we're gonna go in with a brush first. Do you ever set your concealer with powder? No. No, okay. I, I don't think we're going to, cause that can also age someone. So we're just gonna go in the corner. And this one's a little bit dark for me, so this one's probably actually good for you. So just in the inner and outer corner, you don't want to. So you don't do, no. The top of the brow? The no, I'll do the a, top of the eye. I'll do a primer on oh, the top of the okay. eye. So the reason I'm not going all the way across is because you don't want too, too much product. You don't want it to be super heavy under the eye. And usually the most darkness is in the inner corner and outer corner. So you just drag the product that you have all underneath. And I especially concentrate this on the inner corner. She doesn't have dark circles like I do though, so she doesn't need as much coverage. 
lucky. And then I'm just going to push that in with the sponge. And she also doesn't have very many fine lines under her eyes, which is maddening, because I do. I swear I have more than you. Okay, so that's the Gucci concealer. I'm just gonna touch up this one spot here. And again, if you wanted it to be a little bit lighter coverage, you can just use the sponge and you don't have to use the brush, but I find this one is so kind of brush thin. Is that? So um, this is a Sephora Collection Pro Concealer Brush, number hmm. 71. These brushes are super Do good. I have those? Uh, I don't think so. I also have this one. This is then a foundation. I'd have to get that. This is a blush brush from them. Yeah, they're actually really good. It's like the Pro Collection. Is what it's called. Are they expensive? Uh, not really. Like, it's more expensive than, obviously, like, Walmart brushes or something, yeah. but... They're like, I don't know. So it's 20. called the Pro Concealer Brush Set. Yeah. Uh, not set. This one is it's just by itself. Oh, it's one. Yeah. I think you can actually buy right now. I think they have like Christmas sets that just came out, which is probably a better deal. Maybe I'll pick one up next week of this, this one here. Yeah, this one is really nice. I always just end up using my sponge, but it is nice to have. I see you have a little leftover eyeliner underneath your eye. Do I? Must have been a long wearing. We also tried to get remnants of her lipstick off, but it was one of those Maybelline super stays, and they oh they God. really do super stay. It's like I took my makeup off. Maybe I should have taken. I have that oil, you know, Marcel. Yeah. I should have wipe my lips because <laughs> it, it that one stays on literally forever they're kind of sticky did you like the color but i did on, on you yeah better than me okay so i think to keep it hydrated we're not going to powder the under eye i don't think you really have any issues with like creasing under the eye so i think we are going to leave it as is and just need to get right in the corner there there. I think for, do you have the MAC paint pot? It's like a little pot. No. Really? I don't think I thought so. you bought it. I thought I did, but I, it it's could okay. be in one of my makeup bags, but where? Okay, so I think instead of that, we're going to use the NARS concealer. So the MAC paint pot, it isn't, isn't that a concealer? It's more like a, it's like an eyeshadow base. You can use it as eyeshadow or... Maybe I'll have to buy one of those too. I think, I swear you have one. I'm going to just, oh, the NARS concealer is right here. So for this one, I'm just going to go in with my hand. This is just a concealer. And this is going on top of the eye. Yeah, I'm just going to put it, I'm going to use this as a primer. But what I on, might do is set it. Does it go on the complete lid? Yeah. And the upper? Yeah. Okay. Well, normally, like, I wouldn't use this because... For me, I think it would be too slippery for me to use, but you have a little bit drier skin than I do, so I think you're fine. You see how it just like neutralizes the whole eyelid? There's no like veins or anything showing. So I'm just going to, this might've been a little bit too heavy to use under her eye because it is a thicker formula, so. I think the Gucci was better for, this is a better concealer for like, just concealing any imperfections and using it on the skin rather than the under eye. Okay. So let's do some bronzing. And I think we're gonna use, I brought two. So you can tell me which one you like better. So I have the LYS bronzer, sorry, and this is in the shade No Limits, oh sorry, Motivate. So I'll let you see. Yeah, I like that it's one. It's like pretty creamy. That one seems good. And then I have the one from Merit, which is like a, a lighter coverage. It's a little shinier, a little bit lighter. I like that one better. 
Okay, so this is the Merit one. This is just in the shade Clay. So we're gonna use a little bit of the LYS. I'm gonna go in with my brush because if you just go right onto the skin, you can see it's like very pigmented. So we're gonna go in with the brush. And a lot of people's concern, more mature women's concern would be the jawline because as we age, our face tends to fall just with gravity. So we like to do contouring right here to kind of like lift the cheekbone and then right here along the jawline just to give a more lifted appearance. And then usually we have the dreaded gullet kind of under chin area. So I'm just gonna kind of go in all of these areas. And keep in mind, this one is super pigmented. So look, I hardly even put any, but it's, it's definitely showing. So I'm just gonna go on with that. And then we'll do underneath the jawline to kind of like snatch that jawline up a little bit. So the reason we're doing this is to make it look like there's a shadow there to form that kind of jawline again. And then you just wanna make sure that you're pulling it down to blend it. And then this one, we're just pulling up. I'm just blending it a little bit more. I do have a powder bronzer I'm gonna use as well. This is more so just to give kind of like a bronzed sculpted look. And this is not for everybody. Not everybody likes to contour the face, but I know she said she wanted me to. I do. So. I like it when it's on. It, it does look good. Yeah, I feel like it just gives like a more yeah. perfected look. And so usually we would go in like threes. So the top of the forehead, under the jaw, or sorry, under the cheekbone, and then under the jawline. So just in the shape of a three. Yeah, just a three. Yeah. And then just along the forehead. You don't really have as big a forehead as I do. Like usually I'll go all the way up on my forehead. You don't have a big forehead. Bigger than you. No. So I go up all the way here. I don't think you do. I don't know. So I'll just contour a tiny bit right here along the hairline. Sorry, am I in the way? No. What's nice about this bronzer is it's very flexible. Like it doesn't, once you put it on your face, it moves. It's not what, like- What brush do you use for this bronzer? Uh, this one I'm using the All Over Precision Brush from IT Cosmetics. Do I have that? It's a dual sided. No, but you know what? Elf actually has a really good, um, a really good one that's like super similar and it's like $10. You're gonna have to write all this down for me. I know. <laughs> Okay. I'm so always looking for trends. something to buy. Well, now mm -hmm. I can buy it. No problem there. Okay. Am I in front? No. I just want to make sure I'm not in the way. Okay. So well, you're in we're front of me, but it's okay. In here? Yeah. Your, your hair is hanging. In. You're right in front of me. Okay. Well, then just turn your face just a tiny bit more this way. Okay. okay. So I'm just going down around the you don't want to forget the temples either because if you just have a stripe here a stripe here it's just white here so you just want to make sure to grab a little bit of bronzer along that temple also and then we're just kind of pulling this down kind of snatching that jawline and then right here i'm just gonna do a tiny bit and just bring that down. So I think we're gonna use just a tiny bit of powder. Not a lot, because if you're a little bit dry, you probably don't wanna use powder. No. But this powder is very um, mature skin friendly because it's not super drying. It's just like a really nice kind of pretty- What's the name of that? Finish, this is a uh, Givenchy. Oh, this is the Givenchy Prisma Libre powder in Voile de Rosé. And we're just going to go in with a little puff. And you don't ever want too much powder on the face, especially if you're more mature. So I would say dab it off on your hand a little bit so you don't get as much product. 
and then we're just going to just gently add a little bit and this is also really good for any like pour that's all it coverage. is that little pour what kind of powder is that it's a uh, well it's a setting powder oh, like setting a loose setting powder oh. but it's um i don't know it's not like heavy it's not super mattifying it just kind of like smooths out the skin so i like to just kind of put it in this area and then we will just go underneath. So now we're gonna go in with a powder bronzer. So we chose, I only brought two and I let my mom choose which one she wanted me to use. So we're going in with, we were gonna maybe do house labs, but we're actually choosing to use the Guerlain. And this is in the shade light. So it's lighter. Yeah, this one is like, well, do you think they're going to look better? Too light. Well, we'll see. Okay. We'll see how it looks first. But she does like anything with a little bit of a pinky tone, and this one does have that pinky oh, tone okay. kind of. And it is more of like a, it's not shimmery, but it's more of a glowy blush. It's not going to emphasize. Oh, this is blush. Or bronzer, sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm. It's not going to emphasize like any fine lines or anything even though it does have a little bit of a glow to it you want to be careful if you're more mature you don't want to use anything that has like a heavy glitter or sparkle you want something that has just like a light kind of glow to it so you don't want it to emphasize anything and these are just guidelines if you like glowy sparkly then wear it <laughs> this is just like tips you don't actually have to follow this so we're just going over that contour with a little bit of the bronzer. It's showing up. It's showing up? Yeah. This is a good one. Who makes that one? Guerlain. Can these be ordered by Amazon? All these things? Uh, yes, Sephora. Sephora? No, you just... You'd order, order on Sephora. Yeah, Sephora. Line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I should. Um, Amazon actually does sell a lot of like these more expensive brands now too. You just have to be careful which seller you buy from. Maybe after we can do an order of the brushes yeah. and Sephora and then they'll just come out my door. There you go. Love it. Same you can actually do same else? day delivery too. Did you know that? No, but there was something else that I liked that. What was it? The setting? Or was it the, the under eye? The concealer? You're not going to pay what I paid for this. <laughs> Is it $100? No. Close? Mm. What about this? What, was oh, this yeah, the one? glow screen. That was the sun, the sunscreen. Oops. Oh, so do you use that in the winter? Uh, you, sh you should, technically. We've got to get our sunscreen game on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've done bronzer. Yeah. Now we're gonna do a little bit of highlight. So for highlight, I wanted to do a liquid highlight. I didn't wanna do a powder because I didn't want it to be too obvious or too glittery. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Mini of the Flawless Filter and I have the shade Too Fair. So really I would have gone maybe one shade up for you, but that's fine. So I'm gonna do this with the sponge. Do you ever use highlight? It's just gonna add that like little bit of glow on the cheekbones. Oh yes, that shimmer that I have that shimmery thing. Oh yes, I love it. What is it called again? Yeah, well that's for the under eyes though, right? Do you use it, it for the no, eyes too? It was for here. Ah shoot, we should have maybe used that. Oh well, it's fine. I have to find it. Then because my ma makeup that's is. really nice too for like mature skin. I Anything like that's it. like liquid or like a balm, a balm looks really nice and kind of smooth on the skin. That is nice. I do like it when I wear it because it's, it's shimmery. People are obsessed with this one. So this one, um, you can also get the e.l.f. one, which is very similar. And that's at the drugstore. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. Danielle wears this. I'm always like, what are you wearing? She's like, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm like, I should have known. <laughs> Danielle? Yeah. Yeah? 
Okay, so, and you never wanna go too close to this area. So I did kind of go a little bit closer than I should have, but you never wanna bring your highlighter like up here because you don't wanna emphasize any eye fine lines or anything. But yeah, I would just keep it to this area and just make sure you blend it out nicely. But yeah, if you look right here, you can see that like nice kind of sheen right there, but it's not like super obvious. And then for blush, I think I'm gonna go in with a liquid blush first. You don't use liquid blushes, I. I brought the Rare Beauty blushes and I have the shade, I already know which one she's gonna pick. I have Hope, Encourage, and Happy. Happy. I knew it. <laughs> she's obsessed with pink. And every top or whatever, pink, pink lipstick. Pink, pink. So I'm gonna put it on my hand because it is very pigmented. Mm. And with these ones, you just wanna be gentle. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for her uh, primer. And we're just gonna go in lightly. And with these types of shades, sometimes people think that they can't wear them if they're more mature, but it's actually the opposite. This like bright pink will give a more like youthful appearance to the skin. And yeah, it's just very pretty. So this is my blush now. Well, we're gonna do a powder blush too. Mm. It's pretty nice though. It, like I can see, like in the mirror, I can, in the mirror, from what I can see on the. So I what I would recommend if you do have a little bit more mature skin, you can kind of do your blush more up here so that it gives that kind of lifted appearance. But I know you, <laughs> and I know she likes her blush to be seen like me. So I do put it a little bit on the apples of the cheeks as well. And then we will set that with a powder also. So I'm just kind of blending it out a bit here. And then I'm gonna just go on the other side. You just wanna look at me. These are so nice. I don't know why, like I just never really, I, I just use powder all the time because I'm lazy, but these colors are so nice and they just look like natural on the skin. Do they come in a package of three? Actually, they do have one now because they have one for like Christmas set. So they're like mini versions of it. Are they expensive? It. Uh, I think it's like 30 bucks for the three. What? Well, they're mini. So they're not okay. going to be as big as yeah. these ones, but, but these last forever. But don't I have that pigment one? Remember I bought it in a set? You might. I'll show it to you later. Okay, so now just blend out the blush a little bit. And I also let her pick the blush that she wanted to use today, the powder blush. And I already knew what she was going to pick. <laughs> but do you want to try the purpley one? It's up to you. It's okay, we already did pink. So I gave her the choice of using the Intense Plum by Gucci, the Chanel, oh, whatever it's on. Uh, the Chanel Dusseau Dequinox. This is the Beige Rose Mauve. So it does have that kind of like pinky purple shift in there. And then we also have the Armani in number 51 Amore. I feel like this one would look I good. I think too. I like that one too. Okay, well, which yeah, one let's you see. like better? They're mm. similar. This is a little bit more pigmented than this one. Maybe we'll go with that one. Okay, we changed our mind. We're doing Armani Amore. So this one here, which actually matches Happy perfectly. So we're just gonna go in with the Sephora number 96 blush brush. She didn't answer. It's fine. You can always just stop if somebody calls. Okay, so we're just going to. A little bit FaceTime goes away. Boom, down. Just turn to me a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and just blend it out. 
and blending is key. Do you use a blending brush when you're done? <laughs> that means <You> no. Think? <laughs> Not. She likes to do her makeup in like warp speed and I'm the slowest ever, so. I should take more time. Well, you don't have to, it's kind of nice no, no, to No, no, but fast, I mean just but... certain things like if I want to try it like the concealer, not the conceal, the concealer, the, the, contour. the contouring. Yeah. And I did give you a rare beauty one, remember? For the contour? Yeah. Well, you can use it as bronzer or contour. I'll check that out. <laughs> okay, so now I think we're gonna do brows before we do anything. So as you can see, she has very small brows. Um, I have very small brows also, but I really thicken mine up. So one thing to do to keep that kind of youthful appearance, you don't want a super heavy brow. Mine's obviously heavier than I would wanna do on her because she does have the thinner brows. But you also want to make it look just a little bit bushier to give that kind of youthful appearance. So I think first we're going to go in with the Rare Beauty pencil. And this is Rich Taupe. This is, what's it called? Brow Harmony Precision Pencil. I lost the cover for my spoolie. Mm -hmm. But, so we're gonna just follow her brows and we're not pressing hard. We're just doing tiny little hair-like strokes. And I would almost prefer to do even just a powder in the brows to make it look even that much softer. But I'm putting like no pressure on this pencil at all because I wanna keep them nice and soft. but I am gonna build up the front just a tiny bit. Do you ever use brow gel? No. I used to. Did you? Like colored one? No. So that just gives a little bit more bulk to the brow. They actually look a little bit thicker than I thought they were. I thought they were just like super, super thin. Like you actually have a little bit of hair there. Okay, so we are gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario. Oh, what is it called? Master Hold Brow Gel, which is this one. I do need a new one, so it's a little gummy. <laughs> So I'm just going to try to brush those brows up a little bit just to make them look a tiny bit fluffier. And make them just kind of stay in place. Your brows are like mine, they don't wanna lay down. They just wanna do what they want. So I have to. You cut them? No. I just do it until they stay. <laughs> so then I just go over it with a spoolie. And just kind of like set them down. Can you just look at me for a sec? Kind of combed out some of this brow pencil. I'm just gonna go back. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go in again on this side. This one I think is a little bit smaller. But it's funny because I feel like both of us used to have, like when we were younger, bushier brows. And now like we don't have, they're like small. Like your old school pictures. Yeah. Did you tweeze them? Yeah, but not that much. I tweezed them until they were like nothing. Like I wish I would have never done that. Okay. 
okay so then we're just going to make sure to go through with our spoolie to just kind of soften that and again you can go in with like eyeshadow you can go in with pencil have we been doing this for 35 minutes uh, maybe i can't read right we now. have been doing this for 35 wow minutes. time flies i told her be prepared to sit down for an hour because that's probably how long it's going to take with me explaining stuff okay so then we're going to go in with that I'm scared she's going to face that. Jill. And that's going to be loud. Who cares? Okay, so we're just going in with this. And what is this? This is a brow gel. But it's colored. No, this one is clear. And then... So my brows look bigger than they usually do. Yeah, this one is a little bit too dark. So I'm just going through it with a spoolie. That one darker? I can't, I don't have my glasses, so I can't tell. Okay, well, we'll fix it at the end anyways. So Let we're gonna see. move along. I'm just gonna stop this for one second. Sorry, we needed a little break there. Okay, so my mom wears glasses. She was just asking about, should you wear more eyeshadow to make the eyeshadow show? Uh, yes, you can intensify the eyeshadow. What I would also say is, so if you, do you know that you have a hooded lid? So a hooded lid means this skin goes above your eye, or your, like your mobile eyelid right here. So you want to make sure that you're putting your shadow above the hood. So any of the deeper shades go up here to almost recede. Because if you put a bright color right here, it's only going to make it look more hooded. If you put a little bit of a darker color in the crease and you go a little bit above your mobile eyelid or above your crease, you're kind of like faking a crease so that it looks like you can see a little bit more of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. I don't know how I forgot what it was called. And I'm gonna go in with, I think, mesh first. Just this. On the eyelid? In the crease. In this one here. Okay. So it's kind of like a taupey, kind of pinky. So basically I'm going, like I said, I'm going above the crease going on the eyelid but above the crease so that it's almost faking a crease because if you just look straight ahead like just look straight ahead with your eyes open all you can see is just this tiny little bit of your eyelid right so if you just put eyeshadow on your eyelid you're not even going to see it once you actually open your eyes so you want to make sure to do the crease and then bring your eyeshadow a little bit higher than you normally would so I'm just going on the hooded area here. And dad has hooded eyelids too, so I know I'm gonna have them. Like I already do, but. No, not necessarily, you could have mine. Yeah, but you do too. Yeah, but not as bad as his. His are really hooded. And then. Is that an age thing? Uh, Well, yeah, cause like everything falls, right? So. When yeah. you're younger, like obviously your eyelids were probably like well, yeah, they were bigger. open. Yeah, and it looked like my eyes were bigger and rounder. Yeah, so we can kind of like fake it with makeup, which is nice. So you go over the crease. Yeah, so you want to, to make that area look smaller, to not make it look as hooded, you want to create a shadow. So you want to go in the crease with that darker color. So this is just kind of like a neutral color. We're going to go in with like a little bit more of a deeper tone. I can look at this. You see what I mean? Like go right over above the crease, the, the crease. Yeah, like you're also you're going on like that bone. Yeah. Just so you can actually see it. Yeah. Okay, so and we're going in with matte colors right now. So you do the above with yeah. a lighter color. No. A darker color. A lighter color. color would enhance this. If oh. I go in with if I go in and put a highlight on your brow bone, it's gonna make it look bigger. 
you want to recede it. So you want to make, you want to take a darker color. Right now we're going in with like a mid-tone color. We're going to go in with an even darker color, but we're going to put it closer to the crease. So right now we're just going in with mesh. And like I said, we are using matte colors right now. They say if you're more mature that you shouldn't use sparkle and that you should only use matte colors because it makes the eyes- I like sparkle. But she loves sparkle, so we are gonna add sparkle. And I'll show you what you can do to avoid making yourself look older while using sparkle. So now we're gonna go in with a tiny bit smaller crease brush. And I don't know which one I wanna use. Um, let's go in with this one here. This is a little bit more dense of a brush. So we're gonna take a little bit of a deeper color. Oh, and I think rich. we're gonna go in with stone right here, which is like just a tiny bit darker than that one. And then we'll probably go in with tender too. So which one did you use first? That one. That one? Yeah. And then you went? This one. You gotta go, that's a bit I darker. haven't used it yet. It's yeah. not darker. It's darker. And it's going on. So the... we're gonna go just a little bit lower than where I just went. Than the crease. Yeah. So this is like directly in the crease. The other shade I used was just above the crease. This one is like right in the crease. And it's a little bit darker. And like I said, we will add some of that sparkle too. I'll just show you where to place it. What kind of brush is that? Oh, this one just came in uh, eyeshadow. I bought an eyeshadow and it came in the palette. That's an eyeshadow brush. Yeah. Well, it's a dual-ended shadow so, brush. What, and what was the other brush for the top part? That was this so, one. This is a... Uh, wait, is that what I used? I, I think remember. so. I can't even remember which one I I think I just that used. is that one. But it's either gonna... that or the. No, I think I, I used this. Okay, so what is this that? This is a Sephora 27 brush, Sephora collection. So that's for the upper part and that's for the. Color. It doesn't have to be this, but okay. there are brushes that are like a little bit more dense, a little bit smaller. Like this one was super cheap. This is a tiny bit smaller, and you could use that one to do exactly what I'm doing go a little bit more closer to the crease. I think you should give me that one. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, funny, funny. Okay, open. Close. I mean, close, <laughs> not open. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going right in that crease again. And like I said, just a little bit tighter to the lid. It's really hot in here. I got the air on. I know. I shouldn't complain because soon it's going to be freezing. Okay, so now I just added a tiny bit of that darker shade there, just right in the crease. And so now we're going to go on the actual mobile lid with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to use the shade Fair. You know what I'm going to do after? Just the slightest shade. I'm going to take pictures of the brushes I have. Yes. And then maybe mark down which one. What is which. for? Yeah. So this is a matte shade. So we want to make this mobile lid stand out more. So we're using a lighter shade. So what it does is it makes your, it appears that your, my lid is bigger. Yeah. Anytime you put light bigger, anytime you put, like when people put highlight, they want to highlight their cheekbone because they want their cheekbones to look like lifted and to make it look like they have more of a cheekbone we yeah. don't really have that problem we have like pretty prominent cheekbones but that's why they use that and then contour you want it receding so you want everything to be like like sucked up okay so now we're gonna take an even smaller brush i think i'm gonna use the pencil brush this is the makeup by ariel pencil brush and we're gonna go in with the shade tender right here and that's darker darker for what area now? So we're gonna go right here, right on the outer V. So we're just going to, instead of doing like a dark winged eyeliner, we're gonna do, we're kind of gonna wing out your eye just by using shadow. Do you think it's better not to wear eyeliner in that case? Um, to make the lid bigger? Look bigger, or should you wear eyeliner? You can wear eyeliner, but don't wear a thick liner. Yeah. You would do like a really thin line so that you could still see your eyelid. You're gonna wanna steal this eyeshadow palette after. 
You can't have it. It's new. <laughs> and Sephora? Uh, no, it doesn't, it's not at Sephora anymore. They used to sell this brand at Sephora and now it's only on her website. I'm like, why? How much? Mm -hmm. I can't say enough, but it's worth it. Okay, I'm just gonna get you to turn towards me just a tiny bit, just so I can close. Okay, so I'm just going along that outer V, if you can see, and just kind of pulling that out just a tiny bit. And I almost like when you open your eye, I almost like doing it when you open your eye too, because I can actually see what it's going to look like with your eye open. And you can do the same for when you add your like crease color. Do it with your eyes open so you can see that it's still going to be showing when you have your eyes open. Because obviously when you have your eyes closed, you're like stretching your eyelid out, right? And so you could see your whole eyelid, but once they're open, then you won't be able to see. So now you can see the shadow. You mean if I were to put dark eyeshadow on that lid, you wouldn't see that lid? Well, that's good. Well, because I put light, like you can actually see your eyelid here. Yeah. And then I put the crease shade up here so you can actually see the color. If you had just put it right here, mm -hmm. once you open your eyes, you can't even see anything after that. Know what I mean? Okay. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with we're gonna go in with the inner corner shade, which is gonna be that same shade in fair, that lightest shade that we have. Yeah, fair. And we're just, just gonna for put the that, corner. Yeah, in the inner corner. So what this does is helps to open up the eye. If you had eyes that were super like close together, it would make them look further apart. If you have eyes that are really far apart and you want to draw them closer together, then you would put darker shadow on the inner corner. And it no. just helps to like brighten the eye. Like I feel like it looks, you look more awake and yeah. Like, cause I have such a dark under eyes and like inner corners, I like to put it right there just to help kind of brighten the whole under eye. Okay, so now we're gonna do, so if you wanted to, you could just leave it right there. You could put some eyeliner on and mascara and that would be it. We are gonna jazz it up with a little bit of sparkle. So we need to just decide what sparkle we wanna use. So we could go in with like a pink one. This one here, Delilah. Pink one. Pink, okay. So I'm gonna use my finger for this. This is Mia. And, and this is not gonna go in my eyes, you know? Uh, it shouldn't. This okay. one's not like super. It's not this like one might, like, yeah. This one might, cause it's a little bit yeah. more like, fall, there's more fallout with it. So now I'm just gonna go right in the center of the eyelid. So if you're worried about your eyes looking a little bit more mature, you wanna just concentrate that eyeshadow just right in the center of the lid. And because this is more of a wet looking shadow, it's not gonna look all chunky and enhance any of the fine lines on the eyes or any like texture on the eye. It's just gonna give that nice sparkle. So you're gonna concentrate on that middle area and you're not gonna be looking at any texture. It's just, you're just gonna see that. So you're not putting it on the whole eyelid, just a little bit. Just right in the middle. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And I'm just using my finger for this because I find that it just adds the maximum kind of sparkle close. You forgot to take a before picture. <laughs> Eh. You didn't? No. But I, what I could do is just go back in the video and take a picture of the video. So this, we're just bringing up a tiny bit higher. Whoops, sorry. So now when you open your eyes, you can still see it. It just goes a little bit above your lid, so you can still actually see that sparkle. And for liner, 
You don't want to do a super harsh line. I know that you like to do like a pretty dark black. You like to do a, a dark liner. I'm actually going to use brown today, which is like weird for you, I know. But it's a dark brown. It's like a nice coffee dark brown. It's just going to be a little bit harsh, a little bit less harsh than the black. So we're going to go in. This is the Sephora Collection 24 hour colorful contour eye pencil. And it's in the shade Tiramisu. Just sharpening it. And I'm going to go in with my, where is it? Angle brush. Okay, so close. So I'm just going to lift the lid right now to do the liner and I'm going to keep it super tight against the lash line. And then just to keep it really soft, I'm going to go over that liner with a shadow. You don't want like a super harsh line because it's going to make you look a little bit too harsh. Okay, so then we're just gonna take that darkest brown, that silhouette color right here, there. And that's gonna be the eyeliner? Yeah, well, I did the eyeliner, but I'm gonna just smoke it out with this color. And this is like a super precise liner brush. So it gets right against the lash line. It's not gonna give you like a really thick line. Like some of the angled brushes are not thin enough. And this one is super, super thin. They don't make it anymore. It was a Mac brush. No. I'm so mad. I was like, oh, I should get another one of these. I found this in my makeup kit from when I used to do makeup and I always used it and I completely forgot about it and I went through my old brushes and I was like oh my god I love this brush so I'm just joining this wing I'll to the outer corner that I did I'll tell them to to watch this video yeah okay close and then I'm just winging it out just a tiny bit. There we go. I'm gonna do the same on the other side here. I haven't done your makeup in so long. When's the last time? Mm -hmm. It's been a while. I think just your eyeshadow I've done. I think you did it for me. I did it here. Yes, you did it for me for Mike's wedding. Oh. Yeah. Mike's which, which, which we were not able to attend. Because of COVID. But Rachel did my makeup anyway for the video. We were watching them get married by Zoom, which yeah. was sad. And then look down. Close. And then I'm just going right against the lash line again. Relax your face. Like if you still want a little bit of drama, you can go in. Do you ever use, do you ever put it in the, like in the waterline? In the what? In your, like in your actual eye. No. You don't do that? Are you scared no, to do like, that? Yeah, I just, I'm not scared to. I used to put it, but I don't do it anymore because I get itchy eyes and whatever. So I'd okay. rather not. Okay, look down. So this is also, if you are somebody who has small lashes, if you put a little bit of shadow along the lash line, even if you're not doing liner, but you're just doing shadow, that's going to give the appearance of a thicker eyelash also. Like you have kind of small eyelashes, right? Hmm? Like, no. I no, I don't think so. Not Well, they're shorter. Yeah. They're not like super, super long. No. But if you use the curling. Yeah. Do you, are you okay with that? Do you want to do it yourself? 
I couldn't do it myself. Okay. I don't like curling other people's eyelashes. I used to all the time when I was when I was at Mac, but I don't know, I just feel better when other people do it, just so I don't open just a tiny bit. You must be hot because your hand is super hot. It's <laughs> freaking on fire. I'm like, just go boiling. With, just go put that thing. I've got a jean jacket no, there. It's fine. It's cool. A jean jacket would be cooler. There's on. Well, here I am thinking, oh, I'm going to wear my cute little jacket. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay, open just a tiny bit. Rachel, there's open. Two. I also yeah, have. there. You know what else is there? That gray one from Michael McDermott. That thin one? Where's the gray one? That's okay. Yeah, but you're hot. It's okay. So then I'm just going to add a tiny bit more of that uh, mesh shade here just to the crease, that upper crease, just to kind of blend everything out a little bit more. And Michelle. Yeah, this is for you, Michelle. You're the one who requested this video. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom's friend, Michelle, watches my videos and she had requested makeup on my mom or on like a more mature woman. So I think this is perfect. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to, because like I said, eyeliner can make it look a little bit harsh. I'm going to use just the shadow and a pencil brush underneath the eye instead of liner. We're foregoing eyeliner, your favorite. What are you doing? You're so we're gonna, gonna use put shadow under there. Yeah, so we're gonna use probably a mix between these two. So this is silhouette and tender. So which one do you put two. first? Uh I just mix the two together. And then I just kind of like make sure to tap off any of the excess. So you still get the drama because you're still going in with a darker shade under the eye, but it's not going to look super harsh as if you were just using a black liner under the eye. You do have like a tiny bit of liner left over. That must be a waterproof liner, hey? No. No? What do you use? Oh, I don't know. Uh, L'Oreal. Okay. Is it a waterproof? Could be. Okay, look up. Or maybe it's mascara, I can't tell. But there was just a little remnant mm -hmm. of shadow or something under here, but this just kind of softens it up. Nice. Okay, so now I think we're gonna get you to curl the lashes and then I'll put mascara on after did, that. Did you do, you did my blush already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and did her mascara. One thing to note, if you ever get your mascara on the top of your lid, look down, take a spoolie and just gently scrape it off and it's gone. So mm. like this, you have to wait, make, make sure it's dry and then I didn't even know that that was called a spoolie. Yeah. And then close for one second. We're just adding just one little tiny bit more of that sparkle just in case we lost any. And we're going to add a tiny bit more blush. She feels a little bit naked. So we're going to add a little bit more blush. Do you want mascara on your lower lash line? Maybe. No. You, no? no, it doesn't matter. Okay. So maybe we'll do, do you want me to contour your nose? Yeah, contour my nose and okay, a little bit so more blush. That's one thing we forgot. We're going to do the lips also. And then off camera, we're going to go finish her hair. So to make the nose look shorter, I always just add a tiny bit under here. You already have a short nose. So you don't really have to worry about that. But this is just kind of like a trick I do on myself. And then... Did so you know it, our nose grows? Yeah, but I don't know. Is that really true? I think it's true because it I had... not a, be because I got I had, mine done on purpose. I had a smaller nose than this. Seriously, it's if you so look at small. pictures. Okay, so now I'm going to take just that same brush that we used for her bronzer 
taking the other side of it, I'm going to just do along the sides here just to slim it down a tiny bit. You still have a small nose. And then I'm going to do the other side, and then we're just going to blend that out. Mm, look at me. the tip right here so can you see if you look right in it it's just like a little bit skinnier yeah it looks good so you and then just so i'm going to just blend it yeah it's the two right here yeah and, and then, then just a little bit of the here and here. tip yeah so now we're just going to blend that out just so it's not super harsh. I'll find that little set. I've got a little set with the brushes in it. I'll show you after. Um, maybe we'll just use this guy. This is just a um, Sonia G brush. And it's the mini base brush. I have nothing on it. I'm just kind of blending that out just a tiny bit. Okay, so we're going to add a tiny bit of blush here. Did it take an hour? Uh, yeah, I think probably about that. So I will put the most blush just kind of where I said to put it, just a little bit higher on the cheekbone. Yeah, I like it better like that. And a then more. a little bit more on this side. She's a blush girl like me. Yeah, we can't help it. Blush, I have to have. If there was two things, three things, I would want blush. probably the blush, eyeliner, and lipstick. Really? Mm -hmm. I I need concealer and I need bronzer. <laughs> if there was like, if you, they said you have three articles that you can have because we don't have enough makeup or whatever. <laughs> because actually, you could take your blush. Or lipstick and use it yeah, as blush. Yeah, exactly, lipstick. Okay, so I have two choices. I only brought two for lips and for lip liner. I don't have a ton of pink lipsticks, so I have this one from Marcel. I'll show you what that looks like. That is in the shade Buff Nude, and then I have this one from Anastasia. I really like this one, that one which is Muted Mauve, which yeah, is a little darker. Muted Mauve. Okay, I'm just going to sharpen it a little bit more. And then you can pick between those two. So I have the Merit lipstick in Baby, and I have the Dior Lip Balmish lipstick. I can't remember what it's called in uh, Thai and Dior. So we're going to decide which one of you swatch them on your hands, see which one you like better. From looking at them, I kind of like this one better, but I don't that know. It's nice. It's nice. It's funny. I never wear it. I don't know. That Which one's a little one? bit shinier. Which one's going to show more? Uh, well, one's an actual lipstick nice. and one's like a more... They both show. They both have color to them. I like this one. Okay. I knew she would like that one. That's why I brought it. Okay, so we're going to go in with Anastasia Muted Mauve. You don't want a super overdrawn lip, but she does have small lips. So I'm going to overdraw them just a little bit, but I'm going to make sure to blend it out nicely when I'm done. So I just have a little, um, what is this? This is a Real Techniques brush and it is the detailer brush, but I'm gonna use it for lips instead of eyes. So I'm just gonna go under here. Do you use lip liner? No, but I should. Well, we both have small lips, so that's why I use it, but I mean, you don't have to. So you can fill your whole lip in with that if you want to. And you go under the lining. Just a little bit. Especially for mine, I do. Like I have one that I have a crooked lip. So like this side of my lip. I do have a crooked is, lip too. Yeah, the side of my lip is smaller come, than the other side. How come I have a crooked lip? I don't know. So I see I, it when I smile. So that's why 
I use lip liner to correct it. This side. I don't know. It's annoying. Do you see it? On you? Not really. Is this side smaller? Um, well, it looks smaller look, right now. It's when I'm <laughs> smiling, you can see. That's fine. That took them a long time. Sorry, my dad walked in, so we just stopped for a second. So I did add just the teeny tiniest bit of intense plum from Gucci. And we are, we did the lip liner and that's it. So now we're gonna go in with uh, Ty and Dior from Dior. <laughs> and just open, yeah. And this one is nice because it's like not super mattifying so it's not going to make the lips look smaller or drier it does have that kind of balmy texture so it'll just have that like glossy lip look all right i think oh we're not done you know what we have to do we're done. Okay, we also, sorry, I lied. We also put just the tiniest bit of the tiramisu just in her lower waterline, just to add a little bit more drama. The last thing we're gonna do is a setting spray. And then we're gonna go do her hair and come back. So this is just the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless that Setting Spray. My eyes. Yeah. Hang on, I'll spray it first. And this one's good because it doesn't leave little like droplets everywhere. It just almost has that sticky hold, almost like a hairspray, which feels weird at first, but it really just like locks mm -hmm. in the makeup. You could do a dewy setting spray. I do a matte setting spray because I am so oily, but that is the finished look. We're gonna go ahead and do her hair and we will be back. All right, so this is the final makeup look. I'll just get one more look of my mom's makeup. If you want to close your eyes, show them the sparkles. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Okay, you can open them now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you liked this video, and we will see you soon. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.